the reasons we've been playing small, they go so deep and they're so in the blind spot. And we've just done such a good job to survive as much as we have and we've protected ourselves. And to go against that, to risk that while reaching for something that we know is there it's such a double bind because you know now so much and you know it's there and you can feel it, but it means you have to leave what's been keeping you safe. And that is the hero's journey. So it's no small thing. And um, what I want you to do is be able to acknowledge and celebrate yourself for the breakthroughs and also to really honor and give yourself grace to have a journey and a process and to understand that breakthroughs are so significant because we are vibrational beings in a vibrational world. And so way before you see the thing manifested in the physical reality, once you energetically land there here in your vibration, You've, you've, dirt, you've just done that thing. It's the same way that you conceive a child and it's all electricity, it's all energy. And you don't expect to have the child the next day. You have the child 40 weeks later, which is almost 10 months later. And what we do is we, we just sabotage ourselves because we, we, we are so conditioned to look at our situation and to to be making brownies and you have this gooey chocolate with the egg and you stick your finger in and you go, these are not brownies and they are, but they need to now go through a process and they need heat and they need time. And 30 minutes later, the brownies are brownies and all the ingredients were finally there and put together, but yet to taste them after you just put them in the bowl and then to say, why on earth is this not here? That's just ludicrous. Like nobody would do that, but we do that with ourselves all the time. And then we bow out and we keep bowing out, even though it's so much of a vibrational universe. That's so much of what's happening. And so I've always felt for myself, like once I can see where it is, I'm headed and I feel it. I'm like, oh my God, it's done. I'm building it and I already know I can scale it because I know what it is. And so for me, it's all about that subtle but major perception shift and seeing and feeling the equivalent feeling that meets, meets, meets what I can see. And in that, all of a sudden I'm like, it's done. Like it is happening. And I know for myself that there are times where I can see something, but yet I can't quite get there because my resistance is still in the way. And I'm having that right now, like with a talk show, like I was on the phone um, on Thursday or Friday, I forget last week, I was on the phone with um, Dr. Phil's agent, <laughs> such a cute older man. Uh, Dr. Phil's producer said, Kathy's really good at this because I, I interviewed him. And so this guy's been the agent of all these people who had famous shows for years. And he was the sweetest guy. And I could just feel like I can see this, but I have my own resistance around it. It goes back to beliefs like, am I going to have to now give up being a mom? Like, is now the time where I have to send all that to sale? And like, I don't want to. And again, like, I have to come to terms with that in myself. And I can feel that I'm the thing that's like right now holding it up, right? Because when my vibration is like on it, it's done. It just happens. It's, it's not. And people go, it's so magical. Oh my God, what, what pill did you take? It's like, no, it's literally just fully being able to push resistance out of the way and claim something and see something. And it's there. Um, 